On Shabbat morning, it is the Lapid Judaism custom to sound the shofar as a part of our morning services. The shofar is typically sounded during the daytime and never at nighttime. One of the reasons we do this on our Shabbat service is because of the verse in Numbers chapter 10 and verse 10, where it says, Also at your days of rejoicing, feast and new moons, you are to blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings and fellowship offerings. They will be a reminder before you, before Adonai, your God, I am Adonai, your God. So that's one reason why we sound the shofar on Shabbat, because Shabbat itself is a festival day. Also, the word leshafer in Hebrew, which at its very root is the word shofar, means improve. So whenever we sound the shofar, there is a, a spiritual improvement that happens in the atmosphere. Another Hebrew word that is relevant is mi shafir, which means amniotic fluid, like the the amniotic fluid of, of a woman's womb in which a, uh, a child uh, resides until it's born. So the shofar has a type of effect of, of new birth, of renewal. So it improves, it, it brings a spirit of, n of newness and, and um, new birth. And of course, the shofar is the voice of God. This video is intended to help us understand and to be able to pronounce, I guess, to speak, the actual blessing that one says prior to the blowing of the shofar. Now, the shofar blessing is not in the traditional siddur, unfortunately. Uh, however, it is found in the siddur of Rosh Hashanah, uh, actually pro more properly called the Magzor of Rosh Hashanah, and which is what I have open here today. So, the blessing in Hebrew, I'm going to say it for you so that we will know <clears throat> how to say it. Uh, whenever we need to sound the shofar. So it begins, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kidshanu Bemitzvotav Vetsivanu Lishmoa Kol Shofar Blessed are you, Adonai Well, let me move the camera here. You can see the, the English translation. We'll just put that right there. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and has commanded us to hear the sound of the shofar. Incidentally, the word kol, which is being translated there as sound, is actually the word in Hebrew for voice. So in our synagogue, whenever we say this blessing in English, we say voice as opposed to sound because we want to emphasize that uh, the shofar is the voice of the living God. In fact, there's a statement that's made in Judaism that whenever one hears the, the shofar or uh, plays the shofar, blows the shofar, that one is to accept upon themselves the sovereignty of the Most High God. So this is a reminder whenever we say voice that we're listening to the voice of God. And it's the voice of God that brings improvement. It's the voice of God that brings new birth and restoration. So once again, looking at this prayer, <clears throat> this blessing, right, rather, it's right here. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kidshanu bemitzvotav vetzivanu lishmoa kol shofar. One more time. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kidshanu bemitzvotav vetzivanu lishmoa Kol Shofar. And the congregation would say, Amen.